Mother's Day is this weekend. If you really want to impress your mother, use one of her most favorite items, flowers, and use it in a recipe. To help us do that, we welcome in Janine Washley from Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen. Janine, I did not know that you could cook with flowers. You can. And you say it's easy. It's easy, it's delicious, and a lot of flowers, besides being pretty in the finished dish, are mm -hmm. really good for you. Just think outside of the box, right? You got it. You got it. And it's super easy. Now, this is the meal that probably Dad's going to help the kids with. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about that. You know, so we, we do use some canned things just to make it a little bit easier, and we use the gadgets in the kitchens that so many dads enjoy and one of them is a pasta maker mm -hmm. so we made um, the pasta over here the linguine and here's the dough that I used and you can see that there are flower petals in it and these are calendula also known as Chinese marigold and it's this right here it has a little bit of a bitter bite not not real bad it's pleasant almost lemony and then it made these beautiful uh, linguine with that in there and then um, there are caper berries mm -hmm. in that. And maybe as an appetizer, how about a Parmesan and artichoke spread on some crostini? Mama will love that. Oh, wow. Artichokes are nothing more than the flower bud off of a thistle. Right. So you're eating a flower whenever you eat an artichoke. So it's not that odd. Then we've got the jerk chicken. Now, the jerk chicken uses the vac bags. Now, a lot of people have the vacuum sealers, don't right. quite know what to do with them. Well, you can buy a three mil bag, you can vacuum seal your food and then you can drop it into boiling water. So with this, that's what we did with the jerk chicken. We put the seasonings in here, the chicken in here, vacuum sealed it with that handy dandy vacuum sealer. My husband has a vacuum sealer that looks like it belongs in a medical lab. I mean, he loves that thing. He even vacuumed um, cupcakes a few weeks ago. Really? I thought I was gonna die when I saw the cupcakes <laughs> vacuum sealed. How but were anyway, they, were they good? They were this big, they were like little <laughs> cupcake pies. So anyway, then you drop them down into boiling water and you have to use your digital thermometer, another gadget. That's the key to get it And perfect. exactly, between 160 and 180, so there's a little bit of a range. It's super mm -hmm. easy, I've done this three times testing this recipe, super easy to do. So it cooks for 30 minutes. You've got delicious uh, Jamaican jerk chicken with a Jamaican sorrel uh, salsa. And the Jamaicans call hibiscus, which is this one, sorrel. So we'll, when in Jamaica do as the Jamaicans do, right? Absolutely, so, you have to. Yes, and then we've got rose petal lemonade over here, and these are the rose petals. Rose petal lemonade with rose water. Yes. You were we, showing that to me. It absolutely. smells wonderful. It smells divine. And I got this at Lots of Pasta in St. Matthew. Super easy to find. I think Whole Foods and maybe even Kroger here in town have rose water flour. For a man, I like it. You just pour it in there and say, <laughs> honey, you're drinking rose water. Exactly. Sounds really nice, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. What about so dessert? So this was inspired by an African violet, and I just went online and looked at an African violet flower. I made a pattern out of typing paper, mm -hmm. and um, I just wanted to show the process here. So I cut my cake. I made a 10-inch cake. I used my pattern, and I just cut, like, um, this is one layer, and then I cut two layer, and then this one is a is three layers to give dimension so it's not too flat. Sure. And then we're going to use a painting technique that cake decorators use called cake painting. And all we have to do, so I've shown one that's complete here. You simply, you don't even have to be, see how the edges aren't particular, cri particularly crisp. You can get the kids to smear the icing on mm -hmm. the different layers. It's totally fine because it ends up being beautiful. And honestly, if mom has the kids in the kitchen and dad in the kitchen making her a meal, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It all tastes good. Then the you, best meal is the meal she doesn't have to cook, right? Exactly, exactly. So you take this and you just hold it um, kind of uh, perpendicular to your, to your, and you just use short strokes. And then when it starts coming off, you just do this. You just kind of chop at it. Yeah, you chop at it. That's all you do. And you just go over it again and again and again. Here, you might have an easier time with this one. It has a little bit. Janine, if people want this recipe, how can they get that? Um, just go out to WDRB mm -hmm. and click on the link, and it will take you to uh, my website. I'll be more than happy to send those out to you. It'll have all of these recipes uh, for Mother's Day. All right, we're cooking with Janine Washley from Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen. More to come on WDRB in the morning. We'll be right back.